At first it was nice, but then it just went downhill from there. The caregivers, providers, were getting upset because she asked too many questions about the medication. Why not just let her know what she's taking? They should be very aware of what she's taking. I felt I had the right to know what I was being given, but she never did. She just gave them to me. I got hit by the stroke, and basically that was the end of my life. It just turned around, everything turned around. You don't lose your rights because you go into a, a long-term care facility. At the Washington State Long-Term Care Ombudsman Program, that's our goal, to empower them, to leave them feeling empowered. That's how they help all of us to get what we want. Otherwise, we got nobody. We are advocates. We are resident directed. We listen to the resident. The best thing for me was the independence to get out of there and get on my own, which I have now. I enjoy it now. The Ombudsman helps me a lot. I was lonely when I was there because I had nobody to talk to. Even though she's handicapped, uh, physically impaired with her walking and such, she's still very much with it mentally and enjoys visiting, talking, um, She's a, just a fun-loving, sports person, family-loving lady. My family wanted to come and see me, but they weren't able to come to see me because of all the rigmarole they had to go through. It is not the responsibility or the duty of the caregiver or provider to control or monitor the visits. They also wanted to have the family call in advance of the visitor, and I had never heard that before. Our goal is to do advocacy for vulnerable residents in all long-term care facilities. That means to go in there and stand in the stead of a person who's not able to communicate what they want and what they need, and not able to handle the situations they used to handle when they were 40 or 50 or 60 years old. I don't know how to explain it. I wanted to be at to work for my sister, that daughter's sake. Mm -hmm. And uh, it didn't work. And then she brought me home again. We're gonna probably have to put her in a home eventually again. I'm hesitant on the process because I'm nervous, although I have a lot more education and um, information and having the long-term care ombudsman program there as a resource is huge and I, I'm very happy to be able to talk about it and I would really like it to get out there because a lot of people are going to need the services in the future. We try to resolve issues at the lowest possible level, but when we cannot do this, we do have an attorney that we pay for out of our budget and also through donations. We never put that on the plate of the residents or the residents' family. And they were the liaison that saved my mother thousands of dollars in legal fees. Our purpose is to protect and promote the resident rights guaranteed to residents living in nursing homes, adult family homes, veterans homes, and assisted living homes under the federal and state laws and regulations. I dedicate my free time to the vulnerable adult. It's not work, it's my passion. Our services are confidential and they're also free of charge, so please give us a call.